if I had only known about the effective classroom management skills, um, you bring your own. However, I think one-on-one, -on -one, 101 class management would have been great for me. Uh, clear expectations, uh, relational strategies, clear goals, how to set clear goals. Uh, I think if I had had a balance, because you go in, you don't know, you don't really know what to expect. However, you kind of take your, your guidance from the students, but yet they're looking at you to take guidance from. So I think a balance of both, a collaboration with other instructors would be good for you. You should begin the whole year out with a positive attitude. You're gonna get attitude, but you, you keep positive in it because students react to you and so if you're having a bad day, they're going to have a bad day. So you need to bring, need to leave that at home, check it at the door, whatever you need to do, and come in with a positive attitude because those students are coming in, especially if they're working, they're coming in off of a job, they're coming in of trying to get their children settled. So they have all of this on the inside of them, yet they want to get educated so that they can grow. And so you have to be able to help them and guide them through whatever is going on, uh, be considerate, compassionate, but yet be stern about this is the curriculum, this is what we need to do, and this is what we're going to do tonight. What I've learned, um, instead of giving it all to the students at one time, I'll do a weekly program from the curriculum. For me, this is what I always tell the students. You can work ahead, however, I'm going to work Monday through Friday, week by week.